Okay, well welcome again, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have already painted this on one of my YouTube videos. Um, need really at this stage, it, you know, it's, all, it's also very fine just uh, painting a picture, but you really do need at the end to leave it for a day or two then come back and this is exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to come back and have a look and see whether there's any little edges want tidying up I don't want to lose the looseness of it because that is um, what makes this particular subject um, but I do need to um, just perhaps tighten up one or two little areas and um, I'm working from a sketch that I did and um, you know it seems to have worked as far as um, as far as it goes, um, that's the sketch that I did, and um, quite honestly, um, you know, it's pretty much as I would have envisaged right from the word go. So now I need, with the sketch um, at hand, I just pick up one or two bits that fell out. I need now just to evaluate the overall composition. Um, and to see whether there's any really fine adjustments that need um, attention. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, right, let's turn around, let's have a look at the subject. Lots you can do with subjects like this. Um, do feel I need just to, you know, there's a little bit of area there that, that doesn't seem to work. I'm going to make small adjustments, nothing to... Um, and, and what I'm going to do, instead of laying paint on, I'm going to lift paint off. And all I do is wet the brush, um, completely wet it, then remove a little bit of water on a tissue. Then, what the brush wants to do, it just wets the paper and it wants to lift off colour then. See the way I'm sharpening that edge up? There we are. See how it's it's tidied that edge up very nicely. If you want to get back to the pure white paper, just dab it, and that soaks up any residue paint that's on there. Going to do the same with this side. Um, maybe that this just I'm always, I'm using a flat brush because I feel that you've got more control over the shape um, that you lift off, but. You know, that's um, something that um, some artists use um, round brushes for this, use the point. And see how that's made that stand. It's a little bit more domed now, which uh, I think uh, works well. Um, that's probably one of the main areas. Um, may need just to slightly... Oh, the top edge of this tends to get lost a little. So let's lighten up that just to get a bit of sunlight on that top edge. And I'm using the same technique, lifting off colour underneath or from the original. Here we are, just make that just a little bit softer. It just gives it that nice little feeling of a proper domed shape on top there. I'm going to go in shortly with with some paint um, just to tidy all that up. Um, just having another look and uh, see whether there is anything really that needs um, complete attention. Uh, possibly there, lose a little bit of that corner. Um, that will be filled in with slightly darker colour shortly. Um, but other than that, it's just a matter now of getting a brush that points well. Could be a rigger. Um, and that's what I'm going to use, um, a number, uh, oh it's the 103 series number 3, it's a um, Pro Art brush, uh, the series is denoted by the gold um, top uh, or to the brush, um, you know not an expensive series but uh, Pro Art, I do like Pro Art brushes and all I'm going to do is just tidy up one or two edges, give it a little bit of sharpness really, because it is all about that main building. So I'm going to use Prussian Blue. Remember, if you did see my video, uh, how I painted this, um, Prussian Blue was uh, in the mix. So Prussian Blue, 
and I needed sort of like a slightly greeny blue so I did put a little raw sienna with it not too much just a touch of raw sienna just to try and get somewhere near the blue green that uh, the um, uh, the painting the uh, um, the actual building is and I think I'll probably achieve that now this is where you finally tidy up some edges just like that there we go see how it gives it that sort of a corrugated look uh, you know I'm not worried about painting every single area in it, it is um, I don't like to say a tin roof but it's a it's a corrugated sort of um, roof uh, area um, which um, let's go down the outer edges just to show the cornering there we are um, but that is now the colouring that um, now I'm going on to the sunlit side I'm weakening that a touch um, maybe just a little bit around the top of the window uh, I'm just well just making it up as I go along really to, to a large extent um, but I do feel that this is the sort of thing that does enhance a picture see where I'm just hinting at some corrugation within the, um, the building itself nothing too but it just brings out that rather sort of greeny grey greeny blue colour oh, yeah, just one or two little touches um, and also down this dome although we're on this, the shadow side here I'm also going to put some little touches like that bring that across um, just like that just just to show the roof area perhaps or oh, and uh, of course the corners of that there and how that's shaped up you can you could pick up the shape of the building like this um, and this is still I would have thought corrugated so just hint at that also uh, we've got the underside of this that is also of corrugation. There you go. And let's put that in the shadow area because I like that. It, it does give that shadow effect. So let's try and sharpen that up just a little bit more like that. So I'm putting that into the shadow area. There we are, just to give that an enhanced feel. Yeah, I think that's that's working quite well. A little bit stronger now, a little bit darker this colour um, within the shadow area, just to give that a hint down that corner, so we know where that corner is. Uh, you know, it may look a little bit wet um, and dark, but it will dry very very quickly. bring that underside round so it sprays it out a little bit more uh, just so as that enhances that there we are that's pretty much as I would have uh, envisaged that to uh, to look I'm going to go a little bit darker on the outside edge there just to show where that um, one underneath the overhang of the roof line it's always interesting area that will probably cast shadow bring out some corrugation in that got to hold the um, it's a little bit heavy so let's just blend that off with, a, with that damp brush that I had there you go just to uh, enhance that a little you know a lot of people could say well this is getting a little bit fussy now um, but and I probably would be saying that if we were to have a tutoring course going um, but it's knowing where to stop and uh, if you know where to stop then put it this way you can keep going a little bit further it's when you don't know where to stop that um, really does uh, 
cause some problems. Okay, now I'm going to put in a little extra red into that figure because I need the eye to be attracted to that area. Another little bit of red into that figure just to give that uh, a little bit of enhancement. I'm not going to do too much to the boat because that is not the focal point. Um, so we don't want to overdo the boat. Um, don't want to overdo the distance there really. Now I'm going in with some dark brown which is burnt umber. So I'm mixing burnt umber, digging in the paint there and I'm going to add to make that quite dark, let's add Prussian blue since we've just used that. It's nice to use a blue and a brown to get a um, and if I used it, I could use ultramarine, but uh, let's just go with this for a start. And what we do have is the railings that actually stand up into the old building. They run across like that and then down. It's the handrails if you wish. And the figures are around that area. All helps to give interest at that point. Um, don't be too specific. There is a bit of a gantry there. Like, like steps that run up to it. So we can just hint at those. Um, now it's a matter of hinting at, at detail. Now we've got the dark against the light. There are two lights here, so let's let's just flick in some little dark touches here and there of spiky areas. And what I'm going to do there again is just soften those back in places, just to give that little bit of interest. Not going to do too much under the window, but there again here, you know, there's all sorts of little spiky areas that. Um, that will help to give that overall um, impression that uh, you know there's something going on in these areas. One or two little touches of dark along the the um, the bank area, or, or where the uh, I think they're more like um, um, like a, 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 a sand dune bank. Um, but it's always nice to have. You know, a nice bit of colour running along there. So really, this is what you do. You enhance the focal point, and the the boats send the eye to that, um, and uh, really sharpens it up. There's only just a few touches that you need, but you know, if you don't put them in, not going to do too much to the rest. Um, along the ah, here we go. There are some little touches. Of it just it looked a little bit sparse in places on the beach because it is quite a rugged beach area and there is sort of bits and pieces going on um, and also something that I've didn't put in originally a, a couple of um, mooring lines there we go um, just to just to show that uh, That they, are, they are attached purely because they would need to be for obvious reasons um, but um, you know a couple of mooring ropes running up to the bow of the boat I don't want to concentrate too much on those I want to just send the eye towards the, um, uh, the, the building itself and then I'm just going to drag across two little lines because I have noticed on the picture or on the composition that we had quite a few little touches here and there. Put a few this side just to balance, just purely to balance, just to give that, you know, what is it? Well, whatever you like it to be, really, you know. Um, I'm going to put a bit more blue, I'm going to put ultramarine with that now, just to give it a little bit more of a green effect along this water line. And that's just sharpening up where the bank or the beach hits the water and um, gives it a little bit more enhancement. And now I'm going to, with this green, just finish off 
a little bit of interest in the reflection. Now this is another area where you've got to be a bit careful but I'm enhancing that. It will show up a bit darker which I think I needed because the, the light of the um, uh, of the sky you know um, need to be quite dark in places on the re in reflection and the reflection is quite rippled so you know there's um, it's quite uneven and ripply. Um, keep those lines going across the paper. The towel probably goes a little bit further than that. Maybe a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, that, that sort of balances that. May need a little bit of reflection added into this as well because if you don't, it's a bit lopsided. You know, it's all, it is all about the. Um, The boat, the, the um, um, boat house, but it's also about this um, the boats as well. So let's put a little bit of greenery on that, and then of course there's any rippling in the water itself. Now this needs to be quite carefully treated because you can add too much of this. Before you know it, you're just thinking to yourself, oh, you know, and it's not ideal if you start rubbing away at it, taking it off. And, um, okay, well, a little bit of dry brush work, just dragging across the paper. Um, don't think we'd see that in there, but we would definitely see that. That's the general measurement, you know, the height. If the building was standing there, we'd see the complete building in reflection. But because it's standing back, you're only looking at a small amount in there. And you can see the tower, definitely, so that's that. Um, sometimes reflections are elongated um, because of their distance. And then finally, I'm going to need to have a look and just see um, the overall composition. And I do that with um, sometimes two mounts, but... Um, I mean, that is pretty much uh, as it should be, I think. I think that composition is pretty good. Um, maybe I'll just pull in that side a bit and pull in that side um, down a bit and just come in that side, that side, just to make it a slightly smaller picture. Um, but overall, um, from what I saw that day, um, I think I've um, captured that quite well. Uh, as I said, that is the um, uh, the sketch I did um, going back a couple of years, um, and that is the picture that um, that I think is probably finished now. Um, don't think there's anything else. Ooh, I've just noticed one thing. Um, just watch that we don't overdo this, but. Going to put in a little bit down that edge there because that looks as if it tones in a bit there. So let's just put an edge down there and an 